Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about these little bore siding lasers from Fiacci. Let's get into it. All right, so before we really, really get into it, let me just say straight up, right off the bat, these laser bore siders were sent to me by Fiacci to make this video stuff. If you're going to take what I say with a grain of salt after that, you go for it. You want to turn the video off, you go for it. You do what you want to do. What I'm also going to say is this is one of the first times, one of the, yeah, one of the first times that I am reshooting one of my videos. All right. Now I told them I would reshoot it if it needed to be reshot. If these things still didn't work, then I was just going to keep the original video. And what I've told you guys on here, what I've told anybody else that sends me stuff is if a product is good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. But I'm not going to try to throw people under the bus. If a product is bad and the company still tries to stand behind their product and says, no, the product is fine, whatever, but the customers are all, they don't know what they're doing then yeah, I'll just, I'll just say it as it is and pretty much try to warn people away from certain products and things and companies, right? But if the company wants to work with me and try to make their product better for the customer, well then kudos to the company. So this is one of the first times that they've actually tried to, to fix things. And I don't know how much they actually fixed or if they just sent me some other ones, but what I'm talking about is the original one that they sent me. They sent me this original bore cider it did not work. It was way, 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 way off. Um, a laser bore cider, without getting really technical and crazy, is a laser that fits into a bullet-looking cartridge that is specific per caliber for a firearm, right? And what it is used for is to shoot a laser, not a bullet, but shoot a laser, point a laser down, exactly down the middle of the barrel, right? And you can use that laser, that point that it is going to be pointing, or the laser point that it's going to be pointing to, to sight in, whether it be iron sights or red dots, some kind of an optic. That is what it is used for. And it's used to get you close, your optic close to where exactly that barrel is pointing. And then you still have to go to the range and actually zero the firearm, but it knocks out a lot of, uh, of legwork of... Of, of shooting, you know, groups that are way down here and then moving the optic up. It just, it, 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 it does help, really does help to help sight in a firearm a lot faster and a lot better. If it works, if it works. And sometimes if the laser bore sighter is off, the laser is pointed, instead of pointing straight down the barrel, it's pointed to one way or the other. It's, you, you may as well not even use it. It's a waste of time. It's a waste, a waste of time. And the original laser that they sent me, it was way off. So if I was aiming, let's say I was aiming right here, right? The laser was off down here somewhere. And this is like three feet, four feet. So if you stepped back to 15 yards, 25 yards, your laser would be pointing way off down in the ground, way off up in the trees. It'd be pointing way off somewhere. And you'd be like, well, this isn't working. Well, of course it's not working because the laser wasn't true. The laser wasn't pointed in the right direction. Okay. So whenever I made my original video with this one, that was all messed up. I sent them the link before I published it. And that's why you guys never saw the video. Um, and they looked at it and they said, okay, before you post that, let us send you a couple other ones and let's see, maybe this one is wrong. Maybe it's off. Maybe quality control didn't catch it. We're going to send you a couple other ones. You look at them and if it works, it works. If not, whatever. And kudos to them. They didn't ask me to take down the video and not post it. They didn't. They could have, but they didn't. They didn't. So kudos to them for continuing to not try to step on my autonomy. All right. So the two other ones we got, because we got two more from them. What I'm going to show you how I check these things um, and show you them. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I do it. That sentence was kind of weird. But basically you have your, your bore cider right here, right? They send you batteries and they're already kind of packaged up and they're kind of wrapped up. This is two batteries, but they're kind of wrapped up in a, in a plastic sleeve. You do not have to take them apart. In the original one, I was trying to take these apart. You don't have to take them apart. They come in a set of two because they're used in a set of two. You put those back in the back of the cartridge looking laser bore cider. You screw in the back and there is no on and off switch. The laser's on. Once you've screwed in that back, the laser's on. Downside to these things is the, the batteries don't last very long. They still don't last very long. I don't know why companies don't make these things somehow rechargeable, but they don't. So be careful with your batteries. Thankfully, they do send three sets of batteries, so you should be good for a little bit. But yeah, the batteries don't last very long. But anyway, this is how this guy works. He's just plugged in there. There's no on and off switch. There's no adjustments you're supposed to make. You can see where they have their little spots where they sight in or adjust the laser. You're not supposed to have to touch that, all right? So the way that I check this whole thing, 
That's why this drill is out here. I will take the laser bore cider and I'll stick it down inside the drill and I will tighten things up. Not super tight, I'm not trying to crush anything. I'm just trying to just tighten it up a little bit. Laser's still on. I'll point it out at a wall. I'll hold the, uh, the drill as still as I can, right? And then I'll just let her go, all right? And as you hopefully could see, there was a little bit of wobble. It was wobbling just a little bit. Now, if I don't chuck this up tight and this is really loose, right? This is what a laser would look like if it was not aligned, right? All over the place. Really, the first one they sent me had a, it was shooting a circle about this big right there. That's again at like four feet. That means that at 25 yards, that instead of that laser pointing straight, that laser is pointing way out there. So yeah, that's one way that I check these lasers, right? Whether it be from them or anybody else or anybody else that sends anything. Another way, and this depends on, most people have a drill. If you're gonna be doing your own gunsmithing stuff, you know, at your house, whatever, um, or siding in your stuff, you probably got a drill. Some people may or may not have a pistol that is already sighted in with a red dot. So I do, and so I was like, I'm really gonna check this because I don't have time right now to go out and shoot and go on paper, but I have a firearm that is zeroed. So one thing you can do is load your laser bore sighter into your firearm that has a, a zeroed red dot and check it against that. And I'm gonna show you how you do that. Basically, this is an unloaded magazine. This is a laser bore sighter. This is not a bullet. This is not a projectile. There's no ammo here. This is an unloaded firearm, as you can see and everything. We're gonna basically load the laser into the chamber, right? Just like you would load a regular bullet. Let me step behind the camera and I'll show you what it, what it looks like. All right, so hopefully it's gonna show up. Sometimes these don't really like to show up. But there you go. As you can see, there is a, li it's, it's a little off, right? You can see the, uh, the laser. You can see two, two dots. You should see one dot, right? Or at least if you see two dots, they should be one straight on top of the other one, not one off to the right or one off to the left. All right, I took the round out or the round. I took the laser out and I loaded it again just to show you that it's not the same every single time. Now it's just the laser is off a little bit to the right. And this time, as you can see, there's a laser out there, right? You can see the laser dancing around. This time, everything is lined up like perfectly. It's lined up exactly where it needs to be. So with these two, and both of these are doing the same thing, right? They're both very close. They're not exact, they're not perfect, but they're very close to being true, right? As you can see, whenever I chucked it up in the drill, the laser had a little bit of wobble. So that little bit of wobble right here, you could see that sometimes, depending on at what orientation that, that laser is in the chamber when you load it into the firearm, it might be pointing a little bit off this way, a little bit off that way, or it might be dead center. So there's no way to check that with an unzeroed red dot, right? I know that this red dot is zeroed. This is pointing exactly where it needs to point, and I know it's true. So I can check the red dot against the laser, or check the laser against the red dot, however you wanna say that. If you're gonna use these to actually bore sight your firearm, a little bit of variance is okay. A little bit of variance because you're bore sighting. And here I'm gonna take just a quick second to, to explain something to you that I think is very important. And I think a lot of people overlook, especially a lot of people nowadays. Bore sighting and zeroing are two different things. Bore sighting is a process that you use, or it's a, it's a, it's a process you can use when you zero, right? Bore sighting is not zeroing. Bore sighting is just roughly a very rough course adjustment of your optic to where your barrel is pointing, all right? Old school way to do it, like with bolt action rifles and stuff, you take the bolt out, you would literally stand behind the gun, you would look down the barrel, the bore, that's why it's called a bore, you would look down the barrel as the gun's facing away from you, and you would look down and try to center something up, whether it be your target or whatever, you would center something in the middle of that bore, right? You see what I'm saying? You're looking down the barrel from the chamber side, looking down the barrel, and you center something in the middle of that bore, right? And then you poke your head up a little bit and you look through your scope and you adjust your scope to basically align with whatever that object is, whether it be the bullseye on a paper or a sticker on a wall, whatever. You align your, your scope or your optic to that object that you that is centered in your bore. That is why it is called bore sighting. You're, you're aligning your optic to what appears to be in the middle of your bore. And what that does 
is it gets you on paper. And what on paper means is exactly what it sounds like. Sometimes I throw terms out there and I don't think people really understand it. Um, when you go to sight in a firearm, you go to actual an actual range, you go to actually shoot the firearm. You need to start out relatively close, right? Because it's, your chances of hitting stuff is a lot better anyway. But you start out close and you, so let's say you're aiming at the middle of the target in the bullseye, right? And you bore sighted everything, then you know that you're pointing, when you're pointing at the bullseye, your gun is pointing very close to that general area. So when you fire and you hit just a little bit off, that's okay, because you're on paper. Your bullet is hitting the paper, so you can adjust. You can adjust your sights and line everything up and then step your target back further and further until you get to the distance that you're trying to actually zero the firearm. If you don't bore sight, right, then your chances of being on that paper, your bullet actually hitting the paper versus maybe you just go right past the paper, you're just a little bit off this way, a little bit off this way, your chances of not hitting the paper go way up if you don't bore sight, right? Not to say it's necessary to bore sight, it's just, it's an extra step that really does help. There have been, I have used some really good bore sighters before that, I mean, you bore sight and everything, the laser that it points and the, on the, and the red dot on the optic totally line up and they're perfectly good to go. You go to the range, you fire three shots, you make one or two little adjustments and you're done. But then I've seen some people who didn't bore sight, they didn't do any of that, and they have literally shot right in front of me like a hundred rounds, a hundred bullets in today's economy, trying to zero or sight in a rifle. That's crazy. That, that, that in and of itself is a very good reason to get, whether it be a bore sighter from Fiacci or bore sighter from somebody else, that's a very good reason to utilize bore sighting, okay? Now, what I was saying earlier and trying to give people a word of caution, whatever, is bore sighting is not zeroing. And if people just buy a bore sighter, I don't care who they buy it from, if they just buy a bore sighter and align the laser with their optic and call it good, you're pro it's probably not it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, you have a one in a million chance that it's actually gonna be lined up exactly and zeroed, but more than likely it's not. You're gonna still need to make a few little adjustments, right? So for the people out there that just buy these things, bore sight their gun and call it good, just a big word of caution. I hope you're only using that gun for fun, right? Target shooting, which I don't know how you hit your targets, right? Or stuff like that, just, just fun, safe shooting, that's okay, all right? But if you're using that particular firearm for any personal protection or a protective firearm, right, a tool for, for whether it be for work or for, for protection, you need to actually fire the gun and zero it at a range and make sure that those rounds are hitting exactly where you need it to go. Don't just rely on, I don't care what brand it is, don't just rely on a bore sighter, okay? But a bore sighter does really help. Okay, I hope I drove that home. I hope I wasn't beating a dead horse to death. Um, these things can be very helpful as long as they're aligned properly. And I think I showed you how to align it. I mean, I know I did. Hopefully you remember now but that I've rambled on and on. Stick it in a drill. Make sure it doesn't have a big, huge wobble. If you have a, a sighted in firearm in the caliber of that bore sighter, check it. Check the laser against your known sighted in firearm. And then if everything lines up, then you should have good confidence to use that bore sighter to help you bore sight another firearm. I really hope that makes sense. Um, kudos, really honestly, kudos to Fiacci for trying to fix this, this situation and for not trying to make me take down my video or make me do... No, no. They just sent me other bore sighters to see, hey, maybe this one was messed up. And True enough, this one was way worse than the other two they sent me. Maybe they fixed the other two, I have no idea, but these other two are usable now to bore sight, to get me on paper, and this caliber, which is nine millimeter, to get me on paper so that, you know, when I get a new sight, get a new thing, I could utilize these things, these bore sighters that they sent me, to help zero in these other optics and stuff. I hope that makes sense, and I hope I didn't completely drive everybody nuts with my rambling and word vomit. But that's it, that's it. Um, if you got any questions about bore siders, if you've ever used one, I'd love to hear it. Well, I don't care what brand, whether it be Fiacci or somebody else, if you've ever used a bore sider, let people know because some of these are really good, some of these are a little meh, you know, some are just, some are absolutely not good, right? I would categorize these ones good enough for as long as you check those two things, check it on a known firearm, check it in a, in a drill, these would be good enough to hopefully get you on paper, right? 
Um, not world class, whatever ten thousand dollar bore siders. I don't even think they make those, um, right? But these are not they are not groveling in the dirt, as far as I'm concerned. They're usable. That's what I'm saying. Is they're usable. That's enough. Y'all be good. Be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and everything. And hopefully, catch you guys in the next video. See you.